Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Um, Sean, like to say rest in paradise to the basketball. Um, the kid from Kentucky. Um, I can't think of his name. Um, I just I saw it last night. Um, I was gonna do something with that, but I already had some stuff I already put up, and then I was tired. <laughs> I was dead tired. You know, so, but rest in paradise to him. He was going to go into the NBA draft. Um, I think he was a hot, I think it was a hot pick. I'll do something on it later. But um, it was an accident. They said he was speeding through a red light and got hit. So we got to see. He was in a Hyundai Genesis. So, you know. Now. My thing is this, you pass a bill to help the Asians and to look out for the Asians, but you don't pass a bill to help the blacks? I'm confused. White people would be so quick to protect Asians, but you ain't going to do nothing to protect the blacks. And I'm done with America. I'm never voting. I, I stopped voting. I'm never voting ever again. I'm not voting for this punk ass country. This country is nothing but a, 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 a prison. The only difference is you're not locked or confined up in a little space. This world is full of crap. You guys are all on the Asians nuts, but you was never on our nuts when we we're getting shot blindly. And then you guys are the ones who put the drugs and the guns in the hood. Y'all put them guns there. And there have been witnesses and, and people speaking on their own accord about seeing you drop these weapons in the hood. One guy saw you. One gang banging dude saw you. He was like, what the hell is this? He left it alone. People on Facebook posting bit. <clears throat> People on Facebook posting pictures and stuff of guns and all that, money and drugs. Like idiots. That's why I said. You guys go and marry these white people. Marry into their family. They don't give a damn about you, man. When are y'all going to understand that? Then you got black women out here like, oh, I love my white husband. They always got to put a label on who their husband is, white. Black men do the same thing, talking about my white wife. Senator, when the senator put out there saying that the Republicans better vote for this to stop the hate Asian crime. These dudes, they're trying to make Asians the minority in the U.S. of A. They're trying to make these Asians the minority. And all of these white people and all these people are jumping on board, even dumbass black folks like LeBrownies, like D. Wade, like Shaq and all of them. We have got to stop the Asian hate. Yo, dumb black ass, they still killing you. So what the hell you talk about? Stop, hey, stop the black hate. Y'all stupid as hell. Like, what the hell is you talking about? Stop the Asian hate. I ain't seen one damn Asian where I'm at be hated. 
They're all in the hood with their Chinese food, their cat and dog, and all that crap, and we go up there and support them. It's you white folks that mainly hate them. And then they got all these videos out. Oh, here's the Asian hate crime. How do we know that that motherfucker just ain't like him? How we know that that dude probably just said, I don't like that dude. He just so happened to be Asian and he just beat his ass. I'm so sick and tired of this propaganda, dawg. That's all America is, is propaganda. Black people can't have nothing. We can't say Black Lives Matter, even though that group is full of crap, and the NAACP, both of them full of crap, and don't care about black people. They just care about making money off of their pain. But still, we can't have nothing. Now they gotta say blue lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter, all this crap. America is the land of bull crap. You guys went from you guys are the most lioness, devilish mother effers I know. You guys will be quickly, y'all, quickly run behind the white guy, believe everything the white guy say. But then tear down the brother man when the brother man saying the exact same thing. Professor Griff, a guy who has spoken about a lot of stuff that's transpiring, everybody want to call him a hater or say he's a bitter old man. And some of that may be true, but... I don't see white people. I see when y'all go listen to the white person speak, like Alex Jones or somebody, y'all be like, man, they telling the truth, man. That's how I be. And then we the only ones who be always falling for the token Negroes and all of them. That's what we fall for. You guys are so bent up on running after a Jay-Z or a, um, or a, uh, what's his name? A LeBron. He's quick. And then you got coons like Shannon Sharp who called out who got put in his place last week, didn't want to smoke, blocked him, talking about I fear losing my job but you cursing on air not only cursing on air you basically um, out here being a buffoon you making jokes and laughing and you not even you see how undisputed is made it's like well Skip makes the logical reasoning and Shannon is there for entertainment he'll add some logic here and there but he's more entertaining that's why they promoted you in your football career when you was doing all those antics and talking and everything. Oh man, it's funny. <laughs> that boy Shannon, <laughs> he funny. That boy Shannon is funny. You dumbass, that's all they see your ass as, is entertainment. But soon as something go wrong, like that incident when they tried to say you um, harassed that chick at work, they turned on your ass quick. turned on you quick. They didn't want to have nothing to do with you. And then when they found out you were telling the truth, you did nothing wrong, all of a sudden they're your buddy again. Y'all need to watch that movie, The Negotiator. Notice in the movie, that has so many racial undertones in it, it was not even funny. It, excuse me, it was so funny. It's funny how they planted everything on him, made him look like he guilty. All his white buddies, all his white friends, you know, went to go 
golf with and go to their house and you know smoke a stogie with laugh it off you know you know even had them at his wedding and everything you see how fast the white boys change real quick thinking he did it you need to give yourself up your day is in court them framed them to make the evidence look like it was him so that token negro turned into Kunta Kente real quick didn't he That Negro turned into Kunta Kente so fast. I am not going to jail today. I am not going to jail today. <laughs> Samuel Jackson, a fool. But that shows you. I had people come to my page mad about the Josh Allen and the Lamar Jackson thing. They're all crushing me, destroying me, and these white boys making themselves look like stupid idiots. Then you got the white boys who like to say, who like to fake and say, you know, I am black. I'm black and I don't like how this is going. You're white, dog. I, stop impersonating. You, they can't even be white when they debating you online. <laughs> they got to try to lie and say they're black so they understand. Like, no, you don't. If you black and you going along with this bull crap the media doing, tearing down Lamar Jackson, but putting Josh Allen on a pedestal, trying to compare him to the next John Elway, I'm about to block this dude. Like, dude, you finna get blocked. You compare that white boy to Elway? Nah, nah. He ain't got no Elway in him. This guy had one good season, like from a quarterback standpoint, a quarterbacking. Lamar Jackson's second season was better than his um, third. His first, Lamar Jackson's second season was better than his third. Better than Josh Allen's third. But that's just how it goes, man. People. People want you to tell them what they want to hear. People don't want to hear what they need to hear. And like my boy Detroit T said, white people believe in their own BS. That's why they're so confused right now. That's why they're so messed up. And then they be like, well, you know, it, that's just how it is. We, we don't have a problem with you. You know, but the lady who mistook her, taser, took, mistook her gun for a taser shot the kid. Nobody says nothing. And then now all of a sudden everybody want to jump on the Michaela, me, Michaela, whatever her name is, side, talking about, well, she was trying to stab. And if, if you look at how the video is from this angle, you know, you can tell. I'm like, okay, that's one black person out of the 10 or 12 that y'all didn't kill innocently. Now y'all trying to justify. See, that's what they do. They're trying to show that video of her trying to stab somebody saying that, well, this could happen to us. You know, that, that could have happened to us back on um, when we had all those those black guys with that were unarmed with their hand. All of a sudden, the gun could have came out of nowhere. See, they make stuff up. They live in a perception. They don't live in reality. They think of us as barbaric and animals when they're the ones who are barbaric and animals. They're the ones who are destructive. Who's destroying the planet? Who's destroying the planet? They are. Who makes all the guns and make all the dope? Art? They do. <laughs> and they drop it here. They allow it to come over. Because this is how I feel. How do drugs get over here? Huh? How do guns get here? You bring them over. Either using the military or doing something illegal. That's how y'all are. And then y'all trying to um look this way. Now you got baseball trying to honor the Negroes and all that, the black folks of the Negro leagues and stuff. They're only doing it because of the climate. A 
America is American and it continues to be with the BS. You guys are out here supporting. When the Asians come over here, the Asians are able to have an upstart in their business, an upstart in their lives. More than people living here. And you talking about stop the Asian hate. Where the hell did that come from? Then you had that one um, actor who's Asian, who's a fruitcake. Who plays all the Asian stereotypes, but hey, he's being hated. But yet, Asians don't want to talk about how they treat black Asians or black men or women in general in their country. They don't want to talk about that. They just want to talk about Asian hate here in America. That's what it is. Next, they're going to talk about stop the Mexican hate. <laughs> Next, they're going to say stop this hate. <laughs> Man, I swear. America is full of crap. Thank you for listening and I'm out. Deezy.